once I understood that Caleb was an ancestor of Nabal's, it became clear to me that if Nabal was going to be a person in Texas, his ancestor had to be Cabeza de Vaca. Now, I didn't know much about Cabeza de Vaca except for his name, which had always struck me as kind of funny. Um, but I'd heard of him in my sixth grade Texas history class because by now we were living in Texas. I learned that an ancestor of his had received the name Cabeza de Vaca in driving out the Moors. And this involved a mountain pass marked by the skulls of cows or cattle. And this reminded me of something else I'd read. It was a book about Hannibal. And in it was described a scene in which Hannibal used cattle with torches in their, in their horns to confuse the Roman army and thereby get through a pass. Now, I'd read about this when I was 14. It was a book by Mary Dolan and it was called Hannibal of Carthage. But I didn't have that book. I had checked it out of the Grand Prairie Library. So when I was researching Vacuum County, I was still living in Grand Prairie and I was practicing law. So I went back to the library. Um, but they didn't have the book any longer. All I had was the book report that I'd written in 1974. And I used this book report as the source of a fictional book about Hannibal that I invented called Hannibal the Boy from Africa. Years later, I did find a copy of Mary Dolan's book. And uh, I can read you that passage, which, by the way, is about something that happened in Italy and not in Spain. It was perhaps a kindness of the gods that Eustace lost his life in the encounter, for he had done his best for Rome, yet Rome would never thank him for this night. Could Eustace know what his commander did not guess? The only human element in all that firework upon the mountain was a handful of the Balearic troops. Who would believe that all those lights were carried by the cattle? 